and her soul so anchored in you that the very roots of her being will be the most beautiful aspects of your spirit blooming through her. Dear God, protect her, keep her, keep her grounded and unwavering. I hope that you show her the worth that she has. Give her a glimpse of the awe-inspired way that you see her. I hope you continue to see her, wrap her delicately in your very arms and never let go. Dear God, your daughters have gathered. We want to hear you. Will you speak to the deepest parts of our hearts? Will you come like a wave? Will you make us new? You see, I pray these words and I never fully quite believe them, never fully quite understand them for myself. I just give them to you in a pretty perfect bow tied together and forget that the word of God is living and active in me and in you. And honey, I don't know what you had to do to get here and I don't know if you fully want to be here, but I know that this moment is for you, that today is for you, that God is not a dainty tiptoe of a God. He is a come rushing like a wave, swoop you up in the middle of the chaos. And sometimes he lets the chaos comes crashing, lets water, lets whirlwind happen all around us. And you know what? He is still in control. He is still the one holding your head above water because you are not drowning and he is not done with you yet you are not drowning and he is not done with you yet and there is no storm there is no wave that can keep you from the love of God that can keep you from his hand upon you there is no filter there is no Photoshop that can take away the fearfully and wonderfully made that you were already made in there is no heartbreak he can't heal and no relationship that he can't sew back together maybe for a long time, you convinced yourself that you weren't able to come to the shore afraid and wondering how could a love so good, so great ever be yours. There are lies that you tell yourself that are keeping you from him, from a father who loves you, a shepherd who guides you, and a creator who made you. There is no one and no thing that can separate you from a love like this, my dear. Don't be afraid when he calls you to the edge of the shore. He is simply beckoning you back to him, calling you to when you close your eyes, let the waves tickle your feet and wash you with an overwhelming peace. He says, my darling, get up and dance and the freedom of knowing and being known of loving and being loved by me you are not anchored in this world uh-uh honey you are anchored in me